so we're going to be doing another God Bill series continuation of the last few videos we've done. We've actually almost reached a couple of thousand views on all the God Bill videos I've done. So we're going to be covering the Akbasto real quick, the Akbasto Prime. So what we're going to do is head over to the Simulcrum. So if you go from your ship, I will show you the basics how to get there. A lot of people are still asking how you get there. So just head over to Earth real quick. Head over to Strata Relay. Easy. Doesn't matter if it's busy or calm, whatever, it doesn't make no difference. We're only going straight to the Simulcrum. Sip on my mint coffee real quick. Let's go. Yeah, it's been a crazy last few uh, videos I've done. I've got like all in hundreds of views, really. Like everyone's like watching them, commenting on them, enjoying them. Right, let's just fast travel real quick. So if there's any weapons you want me to cover, let me know and I'll cover them for you. But I am streaming a lot more Warframe content. We've got a fashion wearing competition this week also. That'll be on Thursday. So every Thursdays I do fashion frame competitions. A lot of people enjoy those. Right, so the Gvasto Primes you can get kind of there. They're not that really difficult to get. You can't see trade from the trade chat. Get all the pieces from them. Um, even with the relics and stuff, if you're struggling, just double check what relics are required. But you should have enough relics to get them by now. And uh, ask your clan members, alliance members. And they're not that difficult to get at all. So again, I'll show you the weapon it's filled without any uh, mods or anything on. I'll show you the base stats. So on a base note, you got a 22 crit, 22% crit, 2.4 multiplier, fire rate 6.33, which is great. Driven disposition is amazing, 4. Reload is good, so you got quick shots. Even if you got a magazine for a shot, you got 12 shots before you have to reload and reload super quick. Status is 22%, trigger semi-automatic, we've got slash 46, very high in slash, 9.9 .9 puncture, 9.9 .9 impact, and uh, that was the base stats of it. So, when we're modding it, what we really want to do is add Hornet Strike, that's kind of standard. Good morning, how are how's it going? I'm just doing a quick uh, God Bills video on YouTube, well, for the YouTube content. So Hornet Strike will be the maximum damage. That's essential. Lethal turret is essential as well. You want more shots, so you want those extra bullets coming out. The fire rate definitely helps out a lot as well. If you look at the fire rate now, it's 10.13, which is great. Bow diffusion, add this with this, 180% multi-shot extra on top. So this is a must for this build. Um, it's a crit weapon. It's actually a crit weapon. So the hybrid build I've done, if you actually look on the left, is 99% status. So it's over 99%, but I've made it a crit, very high crit as well, and a status weapon also. So if you go for Prime Tiger Cracker, that definitely helps out. We've added these two for Corrosive, because I always go for heavily armoured units always, they're the different, most difficult ones to kill. You can always change it out if you want to go for Viral, but it's not really required. Um, you'll see the damage it does on all armoured units and non-armoured units too, as you as you test the build out. But um, you can add these two for Corrosive. You obviously have this, 100%, 187% crit chance on top. So that'll boost it up to 63 one, which is very highly, high, very highly likely it's going to crit because obviously the fast bullets have come out. Uh, this is a ribbon we got, um, one of the better ribbons I've seen. Um, multi shot, very high. If it's above 90, it's perfect. Definitely adds enough multi shot. A lot of damage, 233, a lot of status as well. And you'll see the hybrid build I've made. So, and I'll just show you tested against level 125s what it can do and what it can't do. Like you can pretty much do anything. So, let's move up here real quick. Uh, I'm probably going to stream some Paladins um, shortly as well, uh, Hellhound, if you want to get on. I thought I'd just do a quick God build video for the viewers. Get this done. So, we'll simulate these level 125s. I'll show you what damage it does when they're paused, and then I'll show you the damage on the moving targets also. But if you've got a quick trigger finger, you can just kind of just shoot through these pretty much quick. Even if you don't, I mean, if you look at the chunks of damage that'll come off. A lot of the time, you can hit your main target, do the damage and walk off and go move to the next unit, just because of how much the uh, slash buff ticking. So a lot of people will say go for viral or slash, but if you're going against heavily armored units, it doesn't work as effective. That's why you always go for corrosive over viral slash over heavily armored units. Without the corrosive, you wouldn't melt the armor that quick, but. Even if you're not really going for crit shots, look at the slash. 
And with his hybrid status, I mean, look at that. There you go. Show you one more time real quick what it's capable of. Just for pause units. I mean, a lot of times you can freeze units with slow Nova. In other roles, you can stun them. There's so many frames that can just stun units. Nidus, you can get him in a cluster with his ability too. Hey, what's up, Sunday? Welcome to the stream. So I'll show you one more time real quick. I'm just doing a quick God Builds video. Um, I'm going to end this stream shortly. I'm just showing the viewers what you can do with the God Build. I think it'll last all five. So again, if you just look. Again, you can shoot a lot of your targets. What you can do is you can literally just shoot a few of your bullets to some of the targets where you're behind them or in front. And just uh, add your melee weapon as well. And then it just double the damage. Especially when you add like a uh, gas or viral. Or you can just do even more probably. But if you mix the two, it's absolutely devastating. So I will show you what the build does against units that aren't really paused right now. Let's check these out real quick. So if we unpause the units, again we are fighting level 125s. You'll see how powerful it is. And these are pistols. So again, if you've got that quick trigger finger, look at all those stack back. So in a situation where you're fighting a lot of enemies or a group, you might want to be dodging back and forth. So once you get those slash bucks in, you can kind of hit and run, hit and run. And they do have a decent knockback as well, which is definitely underrated with them. I mean, look at that already. Right, he's pretty much dead. And even if the enemies do get close to this knockback effect, the way it works is absolutely amazing. So, there's another unit there. And again, you're not going to just be using your like the one solo weapon you're going to be using a mix, mix bag of tricks so you could always hit your targets hide use your melee attack you could use your main gun as well but it's, it's not really required not with a build like this and that's just how fast it evolves on so that's kind of covers most of the build itself what it can do showed you the ribbon as well how to actually build for the god build too so i'll show you one more time just in a quick situation what you might do um even with mirage i mean we don't have to spam our ability, but I'll give you like a little thing you can do. Say for example, you threw out the uh, attack 4 while the attack 4 is going on. A little bit of a distraction. You can be just very quick in your shots. As I take little ticks of damage from the 4th ability. They're pretty much already dead in regards to that. So again, just look at the damage you got there. Even in a real situation or game simulation situation, you're not really going to be standing around too much or not using your abilities. So like I said before, even if you're going for a solo mission, a group mission, it doesn't really matter. These just absolutely destroyed. And that knock back again. It says it all. So majority of the time, that even if you're fighting um, whatever units you're fighting, the fact that it has that knockback effect pretty much covers you. So, I'll give you one more example real quick, and then we'll end the video from there. But if you've got any questions, just let me know. Um, again, these are a continuation of my other god builds I do. A lot of them have got like over hundreds of views already. We've got a fashion frame competition on Thursday. I do dual tournaments as well. So there's quite a lot of content I do for the Warframe community in general. So make sure you check out the videos, leave your comments in the videos as well. Post your ribbons, post your links, you can post your builds also as well. You can use my um, streams for a trading uh, stream as well. So if there's anything you want to trade for, you can post on my stream chat too. Even the sound of it just sounds incredible. The, the heat's alone. It's like the power of a Sibaris or something, just tucked into some pistols. These are, these are actually my favourite weapons. I put eight formers into the original. Well, secondary pistols. Secondary, I I put eight formers into the original build before the primes came out. So when the primes were announced, as you can imagine, I was, uh, I was super happy. Again, we just got the stun combos. And then once you crack a couple of headshots, it's game over for everybody.
but there you go folks so the there we have it folks um i got a few powerful bills with all my bad bills videos i mean again um a one shot level 125 is a lot of my bills already uh, so i could go up to level 150 the one shot i don't really understand how you get much more powerful than that but uh, that's it folks we're gonna wrap the video up it's a quick stream just to do a god bills video so this will be available uh, on my blog, blog videos and uh It'll be out there for everybody to watch. So if you need any uh, help or any advice in the game, let me know. But uh, apart from that, make sure you check out my channel. Support my channel. Support my content. If you can sub, drop a sub. If you can uh, support the channel, the links will be in the do uh, yeah the links will be for the donations as well in the stream as well, and also on the uh, video itself in the description. So you can check it out in there and uh, support the content. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace out, folks.